Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, please click the subscribe and bell buttons to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And like, comment, and also share the videos with your friends and family. The existence of the cave we call Harrison's had almost certainly been known by the Aboriginal Indians, the island's early inhabitants, but it seems that one Richard Idol, as far back as 1647, could have been the first European to know the cave. Certainly, it was documented that Dr. Kingford and Party in 1796 truly put the cave on the map. The cave was designated after Thomas Harrison, who owned the land in the area at the time. However, many years would have passed until Barbara Tony Mason, who already had a detailed knowledge of the cave, teamed up with Danish studiologist Ole Simonson, and together they rediscovered the cave in 1917, generating great interest in this natural wonder. To your left, that is the mirror lake. So go ahead and take your photos. If you're taking your photos, turn the flash off for best results. Is it not a beautiful sight? The way there's just a blue cast on the bottom, then we have the tiny droplets of water running on the surface. Doesn't it make you want to take your shoes off and go running inside? Right? Yes, of course, but that will be the end of you. Let me explain. Below that seemingly harmless two feet of water is about six to eight feet of silt that acts exactly like quicksand. Which means if you go running across, you're gonna go down just as fast. And we estimate it will take about six persons to pull you out. Six people. And if you look above me, of course, you have a giant footprint in the ceiling. I'm sure God never you will in I go over to your left, you have our car down the screen, making it stay down. And right at this moment, you will be stuck in wood spot to hear the sound of flowing, rushing water. You're following it, and it will lead you to your final point of impact. Together there, and the 
stays from Toronto. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> if you look away from the camera, and look at it, can we do the same place if you look away from the camera? You see it there? Yes. But, but it's pronounced more because the light is there, uh, the light projects the light under the ledges, so you get that space to work. So there's about nine faces in that whole area. Did anyone know 
listening.